huh? Today is the day that I find the toy thief and bring him to justice. I know he's close by, so let's solve the clues and put him behind bars for good. Problem. It looks tricky. Let me try to solve it with the area method of multiplication. First, let me decompose the numbers into tens and ones. So, 15 can be written as one ten and five ones. And 12 can be written as one ten and two ones. Okay, time to solve this. I have to multiply the length and the width of each rectangle to find its area. That means I need to find 10 times 10, 5 times 10, 10 times 2, and 5 times 2. Let me fill them out. All right! The area of the first rectangle is 10 times 10, which is 100. So the area of the first rectangle is 100. The area of the second rectangle is 5 times 10, which is 50. So the area of the second rectangle is 50. The area of the third rectangle is 10 times 2, which is 20. So the area of the third rectangle is 20. And finally, the area of the last rectangle is 5 times 2, which is 10. So the area of the fourth rectangle is 10. Now, to find the final product, we have to find the total area of the rectangle with length 15 and width 12. This means that we need to add 100, 50, 20 and 10. 100 plus 50 plus 20 plus 10 gives 180. So, the area of the rectangle with length 15 and width 12 is 180. This means that 15 times 12 is 180. I must catch him before he escapes. Huh? Nothing can stop me. My, we're close. I've got you now, toy thief. Mm. The final clue. I know the toy thief is close. I must hurry up and finish this through multiplication. 34 can be decomposed into tens and ones. 34 can be written as three tens and four ones, while 16 can be written as one ten and six ones. Right, let me move on to multiplication now. I have to multiply the length and width of each rectangle to find the area. So, I need to find 30 times 10. 4 times 10, 30 times 6, and 4 times 6. 
Let's start with the first rectangle. The area of the rectangle will be 30 times 10, which is 300. So the area of the first rectangle is 300. Next, we look at the second rectangle. The area of the rectangle will be 4 times 10, which is 40. So the area of the second rectangle is 40. The area of the third rectangle will be 30 times 6, which is 180. So the area of the third rectangle is 180. Finally, the area of the fourth rectangle will be 4 times 6, which is 24. So, the area of the fourth rectangle is 24. Now all that is left is to add the areas of all the rectangles. To do that, we need to add 300, 180, 40, and 24. 300 plus 180 plus 40 plus 24 gives 544. I've got you now, thief. Oh. Huh? You're the toy thief? It's okay, Mama Dog. Your secret is safe with me. <laughs> well, I suppose some cases don't need solving.